What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. This is my 2021 Ford Bronco two-door um, base model. Yes, 2021. It's got 1,200 miles on it. It sat for a year. Battery's been dead for a year. I've only driven it 1,200 miles. It's probably the lowest mileage uh 2021 bronco in the country now but um it's finally time to build this thing first things first um we gotta get all the dust and dirt cleaned off this thing it's like i said it's literally sat for a year a complete year so we gotta get all the dust and dirt off this thing because we're gonna paint it we also don't want to use any specialty soap or anything. We actually want to strip any grease and waxes off, so just normal like hand soap. Um, we don't want any chemicals. We don't want to put any ceramic coatings or anything on it because we need all that stuff off um, before we paint anyway. So we don't want to do that to that. Um, just literally simple soap and water. We're going to get this thing clean. That really came out like jelly. Um, we gotta be careful because when the batteries die, the frameless windows don't work anymore. Um, as you can see, they just, something almost fell out. Um, they just stay down. So um, we gotta be careful washing it, but we're gonna jump it at some other time because we're not gonna jump it just for it to die again. So, um, we're just going to keep the water away from the windows the best we can. <laughs> I took this thing like apart a year ago and if I find the footage I'll throw it in here. Yeah, this has been open for a year as well. Um, I took the whole tailgate apart, the latch, the whole mechanism is out um, so we can paint this thing. Um, that was fun and interesting to figure out and I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna remember how to put it back together, but um, yeah, it's all open too.
because we're about to paint this, we're just starting to disassemble it as we're taking things off. I need to get everything out of the interior, um, but this glass has to come off the hard top so we can color match it and, you know, paint it body color. To get this off, it's really not that difficult. Um, you've got two on each side, well, I guess one on each side that connects to your defrost lines. Be careful with it. Don't, don't pull this off the glass because then you'll need a whole new rear window. Otherwise, your defrost won't work. One on each side, gentle with those. You just push in the clip, kind of pull straight out. And then this over here that's going to run up to your wiper motor. There's a little plastic panel inside the hard top where the harness goes into um, for the defrost there that this runs back in. Um, pull that down and on the inside of this, I don't know if you can see that, but here's the other end of that plug. This plugs right into there. Just unplug it and then you'll be good. Next step, we're gonna take the shocks off, just get a pick and they've got the um, you know retainer clips, no different than like a hood shock or a hood latch. But we're gonna take these off on um, Ooh, do I want to leave these on the glass or do I want to leave these on the hard top? I guess we'll leave them on the hard top. Um, once you get these shocks off, you're only left with two um, T30s and then the whole back window will come off this and then uh, we can get it all painted around there. It's actually a T27. You guys didn't believe me, look at this, expired 22. Obviously you guys know brand new, you know, brand new platform, Bronco 6th gen. A lot of the things I wanted to do, there weren't solutions for when I kind of started taking this thing apart. Um, there are now, so that's why we're doing this now, because we could do everything I want to to this, um, including putting larger speakers back here than the three inch, the three inchers. Like literally everything I wanted to do was just not possible because there weren't products because it was brand new. Companies needed to develop all the things um, and that takes time. But now we can do everything and it's gonna be sweet. However, I left myself with a gigantic mess. Here's the whole dashboard um, and everything else and it's a good thing I never put it back together um, because there's solutions for things I wanted to do to the dashboard um, now as well. But now um, we got to get all of this out, um, kind of lay it all out, see what we got because literally this whole thing has been stripped and we got to keep stripping it more um, because we got to get this thing painted. Ah, no idea, no idea. <laughs> Expires October 2022. <laughs> I can't believe it hasn't, like, wow. That's crazy. And here's the dashboard and the uh, whole airbag contraption we removed because we are upgrading this to the big screen. That is the, one of the things that I had purchased and was ready to do, but there was no solution and I was trying to figure it out, but somebody else did that and I'm thankful for that. And um, we'll be able to put that screen we already have in here now, so that's exciting. The whole dash is in pieces. Oh. I don't know where these came from. These were, these did some, some something snazzy like this. I'm not, oh yeah, there's the push turn, just like that, yep.
All right, so we got the entire interior cleaned out. We got everything out of the trunk, out of the back seat, out of the front seat. Um, got it all split up, taped off, labeled so we know what it is. Kind of, there's a couple things I put question marks by. But um, have a general idea of what it is and where it goes. The next step is we got to take all these body panels back off. A 6th gen Bronco like this, it, it comes apart rather easy. Before I did that, I wanted to make sure that all of my body lines can be aligned now because I don't want to go paint these panels and then have to come back, modify the holes to give me just a little more adjustment or any of that. I want nice, perfect, fully painted surfaces all the way through. So, you know, it, it does take a little bit of extra time, but doing that now and getting everything, you know, straight and right and you know it fits and you know it goes on and you know you're going to end up with a result you want after it's painted then you don't have to worry or scramble or do anything so i was even like oh do i really want to do that right now but i said no i'm going to thank myself later um take the time do that we got everything lined up on this side along with the other side and um now it's time to take it all back apart and um strip this thing down <music> Look at that. Ain't that crazy? That's a gas EGR cooler. All the way down there, look at that. An EGR cooler on a 2.3 liter EcoBoost. That's crazy. Okay, so before we took this fender off, again, checking um, right here, you can see that this, I mean, everything lines up here, but this up here, this top, is never going to get out this far to meet. Um, so right here, I made a little mark on this, this 7 mil back here on this part of the fender. I need to oval this hole out a little more, so give me more outward adjustment. We've got plenty of room to spare, but if I just give me a little bit more, this can center up and I can pull it in with the middle bolt that's hiding behind the fender here. However, I'm never gonna have a, a flush surface here with how I drilled this hole before, so just need to modify it a little bit and it'll give me more adjustment and we'll be good to go. So all I did was mark an arrow there. We'll be able to, um, we'll be able to um, bring this hole a little bit more that way just a little reminder and then down here as well on this piece I noticed that um, I could hit the hole I could get in there but it's gonna put a lot of stress it's putting a lot of stress on this piece here which looks like they all already did some body work and molding in here um, before so I don't want to stress this anymore so we're gonna pull this hole down a little bit this way and that'll give us um, it'll give us the adjustment we need on this to bolt this in and um, not really tweak tweak this fiberglass. So we never put this in on the other side. I just want to test fit one of them. I mean, I put the other one in, pulled it out. But this is the that little thing on the hood you would connect limb risers to. Um, if you have an OEM fender, it works the same way. But there's this 10 mil underneath here. Um, however, you could take this off yourself. Um, without you know removing the fender. I just found it really hard and kind of a waste of time to do this when we got to take them off anyway um, But we're gonna take this off here and then underneath here. We'll take this one off as well Really quick and then this Will pop out with this alignment tab that we also drilled the hole for there just like that that'll pop out and that gives you full access to this other um, 10 mil nut underneath 
all of this. So um, same thing on the other side, if you got a regular Bronco and you're looking to get these off, um, whether you want to switch them out for some aftermarket or paint them, um, which we are going to do here. Other than that, you're going to zip the rest of these off and uh, we can get this hood off. If you have a Bronco, there's usually a grill over this and that completely surrounds this headlight. After you get that grill off, I think it's a couple plastic plugs snaps in. Once you get that off, headlights come out in three bolts. If you missed that video, this was literally the world's cheapest Bronco I could at the time. $28,500 base price added two things. Still was less than like 30 grand. So I found these online early on, um, this set. So I snagged them, plugged them right in, they work. I'm still looking for the tail lights. However, to get them off, there's two 10 mils up here, one there. There's also a plastic plug right there holding it in for what reason. And then you got an 8 mil um, down here. So you'll zip them out. Oh. But you'll zip them out. And then there's this plastic plug. Don't try and yank on it because I've seen a million of these things where this tab up here is cracked because it because somebody doesn't pry that out but that and then there you go alignment pin back there snaps in and then uh you got this right here same plug no matter what um bronco you have Seven inches of lift and 38s. Oh my God, this thing is going to be just huge. As you can see, we've made crazy headway on the Bronco already. We've got everything, everything all laid out, labeled so we know what's going on. We got the hard top here, there's the hood. We got the two other panels here. And over here, we started a second table. This is gonna come in handy shortly. Not to mention, the two bumpers are there and everything down there is also Bronco pieces we've taken apart or disassembled already. You may have noticed we stopped at the doors here. We have not taken the doors off yet because like I said earlier, when the battery dies, windows don't work, obviously. So. We're gonna have to jump this. My original plan with this Bronco was to make the white roll bar work. I wanted to use this as an accent piece on the Bronco. However, what I wanna do inside and leaving this white is really causing me some like mental confusion and I really don't wanna get it completely done and be like, why didn't I just do what I wanted to do. So with the interior that we're gonna end up putting in this thing, the white roll bar has to go. In the next video, you are gonna see us strip this thing down to the tub. The seats are coming out, the carpet's coming out, this plastic's coming out, we're stripping this thing completely. Door panels, that's why we left the door on because after you know we jump it up and down with the windows to get anything inside of here detached if needed, like door handles and all that. I didn't want to get too crazy with it um, because I don't know what I'm really getting into just yet. However, once we have power, we can get this whole door torn down um, and we'll just have door shells in the next video. Door shells and a tub because this is all coming out. Uh, we're gonna leave the console and the dash, but um, Everything else needs to come out because we got to get all the plastics out up there to um, paint this roll bar. And I don't want to get any paint all over the carpet or dust. So the simplest thing would be give us a bare tub and I can just crawl in here and get this 
painted. I didn't really want to do that because that's going to cause us a lot of extra work. However, it's really not that bad once you get into it. And on top of that, I'm going to have to take these off to upgrade the speakers. I'm going to have to take the seat belts off if I want to change the color of these. Um, I'm going to have to take the seats out to reupholster them. And um, some of these other plastics need taken off anyway to... Um, you know, all the way up to about here needs to come off already just so we can paint the jams here. Same thing up here. All of this is going to have to come off. So it's like we're so close already. We might as well take the rest off and um, get this roll bar painted too. I was not, I did not plan on doing that. And that was never in the plans, even from day one. However, um, it's happening now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We have a lot more to come, a lot more for you guys to learn, a lot more for me to teach you, a lot for you guys to enjoy just crazy stuff all around whether it's the Bronco we still have the third gen we still have the first gen we still have the limo we still got it all it's all coming it's all coming fast you guys are not gonna want to miss it shoot this video a thumbs up drop me a comment down below click subscribe if you haven't already it's about to get crazy here very 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 shortly you guys are not gonna recognize this Bronco in a matter of days it's gonna be nuts but we got so much more content and videos for you guys i plan on uploading videos tuesday thursday sunday again my normal schedule lots of builds lots of things we've got it all here pretty much and and loaded up ready to go we're gonna kill it here in 2024 and i want you guys to be along for the ride um take care guys see you guys in a couple days and um we're gonna get this thing stripped even more down to the tub um, i'm super excited for this the color change is going to be nasty and um, it's going to be one of the most exotic broncos that um, you've probably seen to date and um yeah take care guys we'll see you in a couple days